AFLA's new president on the goals the association is committed to during the next year to grow and diversify its membership. The initiatives that AFLA has coming forward to this year is, is there, there are select few because we, we have a year to accomplish our goals. And I like to identify what's coming within the next year is the uh, pillars of success. And the first pillar to f that we're going to be focusing on at AFLA is membership. Uh, it's, it's important to continually to grow our membership. And uh, that is, and to increase corporate fleet managers in our mix of memberships. We have um, all cross-functional groups represented, but there's a need to increase corporate fleet managers. And uh, that's one of our pillars that we're going to be focusing on. Uh, the second uh, pillar that we're going to be focusing on is maintain our current sponsors and grow sponsorship. And, and the important thing to keep in mind in this area is the, we have to provide at AFLA to our sponsors a ROI. In other words, there's a return on their investment when they take part of the AFLA programs. And that's something the board is really focusing on. And it's important to our success as well as to growing membership. They're, they're kind of tied in together. The, um, the third piece is we cannot forget about diversity. Um, if you look in our industry today, the majority of our Gener the generation that is well representative is the baby boomers. We have to start planning the next generation of fleet professionals. And we have to focus in in that arena. So we can't forget diversity. It's imperative that we have people on the board that represents that generation and provides what their needs are and share that with the board so that we can plan, have a vision for two years, three years out, how we're going to address that, as well as tap into that, that specific generation. So that's an important pillar that we're going to focus on. Um, the, the, the last pillar is, deals with our history and the way the AFLA community works. Uh, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be AFLA's presence, president. It's an honor and a privilege to be AFLA's, as AFLA's president. But within the AFLA board, it's a consensus and we run it like a democracy. Everyone's voice is important, point of view is important, and we take a vote on the direction of AFLA. It's not just coming from one individual like myself, but a group of professional colleagues that have our membership's best interests in mind. So once again, it's, it's the pillars that we're going to focus on. It's membership. It's our sponsors. It's don't forget diversity. And maintain the history of AFLA. Because that's what our DNA is. Our history is our DNA. But our future, we have to adjust to the future. And I'm really excited about addressing each and every one of those pillars because we have the resources to come up with a business plan that's going to make AFLA successful.